Did you close the door? Or... Uh, no, it's nothing secret, and there's not that many people in here, but it's still warm. I guess from the previous talks. So there's at least some people in here that I don't recognize. That's nice. The rest of you all know what I'm going to say, right? Who are you? Let me start with How many of you managed to actually be in here for every talk today? <coughs> I mean, who never left? How many talks did we have? Six. Six? Six. So how many were here for five talks? Four? Yeah, here we go. Three? Okay. Well, yeah, keep my hand. <laughs> <What>? yeah. <laughs> Two? I was in the, in the door open. Does that count? <laughs> who has not been in here today until now? Oh, well. That's that's true. True. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's the downside. It, now it's not full. <laughs> now you can go get your friends. Because now we're not... Like, oh, see? There it worked. Is. You could go get your friend. Here's your new friend. Hi, friends. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, for those who are wondering, we're not going to do this for 45 minutes. Uh, we're just going to do a short wrap-up and uh, hand out some information. You've all seen... This one, we started with this yesterday, for those of you who were there. Uh, please tell everybody that you liked what we did. Hopefully you did. Please tell everybody that the room was full. Yes. So maybe we'll get a bigger room next year. It does complain. probably help to like post on Twitter. Yeah, you have to complain to at Fostum. Yes, or hashtag Fostum, no. but preferably to at Fostum. Let them know that this room was actually... <laughs> turn people away. Um, it's happened before. It's probably going to happen again, regardless of the size of the room. But you know, anything that we can do, and uh, that you can help us do, is we're actually getting a bigger room. So we have a lot of people who are interested. God knows why. So, how many of you guys in here are members of Postgres Europe? Okay, that is pretty good. Uh, keep your hands up. Now, those of you who voted in the elections, take your hands down. <laughs> <laughs> boo, 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 you should have voted in the elections. We closed the elections last night, so it's now too late. And we had 26 people who voted. <coughs> Probably, f that, well, I saw at least 15 in here, so that's good. You're all here. Uh, that's 26 people out of, we have 66 members. Sorry, we have 67 members. Someone paid his membership Today. F five minutes ago. <laughs> Um, but we have 66 paying members. We don't actually know. A few of those may not be uh, allowed to vote because you had to be a member for three months, I think it is, before the elections in order to be allowed to vote. Or it's one month, but no, something like that. But it's 60-ish it's members who could have voted. So we didn't get even half. That's kind of bad. So yeah. those of you who didn't, didn't vote the last time, we will have a new election next year. Please remember to vote. It does actually matter. Uh, this year we had three people who are stepping down from the board. I think they're all here. I see two of them right here. Ah, there is the last one. Uh, Dave Page, Andreas Sherbaum, and uh, Guillaume Lelage, who have all been with us for quite a while by now. But uh, thank you guys for a lot of hard work. It's been fun working with you guys. And it's good to have a lot of work. Uh, so we had an election. We voted in three new board members. And Andreas Sherbaum. He actually sorted it out. <laughs> I did sort it around. This is actually the order by number of votes. Uh, it's not a big difference in number of votes, that is, or in the sorting. Uh, I don't know what the previous sorting was. I think it was alphabetical. But this just means there's more work for you. So you did manage to get out. Uh, we didn't have any more than these three candidates this year. We'd like to see more candidates. So the rest of you, you should consider for next time around, either standing for election yourself or convincing somebody else to do it. Was there a call for candidates? Uh, there was oh, a call yes. for candidates in November or December, something like that. Uh, the full process is listed on the website with it's you know certain months of nominations and then weeks of where, wherever, uh, and we'll be posting it around. Early December, I think, typically yeah. the process starts. And the goal will be next year as well. well. Well, we haven't decided that, but we're going to decide that it's, the goal is again going to be to have the elections fini finish approximately at Fostum. Um, so we can do the announcement here. Next time. I will be so standing down next time, as will Gabriella will be doing. So this is your chance to get rid of me. And end his reign of terror. <coughs> Somebody stand against him. Yes. Please do that. So, we've been here for 
How many of you were here yesterday for the, the Postgres dedicated event? Okay, that's most of you, but not all of you. Um, have you had enough yet? No, you want more events. You want more events. I know that. You haven't had enough. Uh, we do have a number of upcoming events. Uh, some of you who were in the General Assembly will already know about most of these. I think we talked about two of them at least. Uh, we have the Nordic PG Day in Stockholm, Sweden on March 20. Uh, if you're anywhere near the Nordics, and I think that goes down to approximately Rome <laughs> and up north of that, and you know anything east of San Francisco uh, is near. Uh, it's a one-day, one-track conference. Uh, sort of like the one that we had yesterday. Uh, the call for papers is open. Please submit. The conference language, it's in Sweden, but the conference language will be English. Uh, because, you know, there are strange people who don't speak Swedish. Or you can learn. Speak, uh, people to speak Swedish, to run a conference in Swedish. Try Finnish, okay? You get, if you submit the talk in Finnish, I will approve it immediately. <laughs> um, <laughs> Huh? Do I have to speak in Swedish? No, you have to speak in Danish. <laughs> um, early bird registration is also open if you want to you know, take a chance and actually register before there is a schedule. I think the CFP is open for five or six more days, so move quickly. We do want to see more submissions. We'd love to see people who are not necessarily from the Nordic region joining us as well, even though our focus is obviously, as you can almost tell from the name, uh, on the Nordic region. Uh, so that's in March 20. The next event that we know about that we have around Europe is the French PG Day. I think they're moving into the same kind of problems that we did with the European PG Day, is that the French PG Day is now two days. Uh, we renamed the European PG Day when we got to three days. Uh, we figured two days, that's still basically just one day and a nap. New York is still PG Day. Right? Yeah. Days. No, they renamed. What do you rename? Um, so this one is on June uh, 5th and 6th in uh, Toulon, in France. The CFP is open here as well. At least it's supposed to be open because I was promised it would be open in January. Not um, this one will be the French language. I don't know, they might accept you know, one or two speakers that don't speak French, but the conference itself is in French. So if you don't know French, it's still on the French Riviera. You just go there anyway. It's your chance to submit in Danish. You, you, you submit in Danish, I'm sure they'll be happy. And you can just you know, hang out on the beach. A uh, few weeks after that, we have the Swiss Postgres conference. Now, these guys are calling it a conference, but it's one day. So they're clearly <laughs> setting it up for the future. <laughs> it will be in uh, Rappersville? Rappersville. But close enough. It's in Switzerland. <laughs> <laughs> On June 24th, the CFP is open for this one as well. So um, they will have both German, English, and French. And two tracks? Two tracks. Two tracks. Um, and you'll have to you know, gamble to see which language it actually turns out in your track. <laughs> but, uh, so do submit for these guys as well. Uh, so uh, Rappersville, for those who don't know, is close to Zurich. So it's not in the middle of nowhere. But you say about half an hour on a train? No, it's not that far. Not even it's that? It's actually very nicely situated on Lake Zurich, direct yeah. to campus. And it's beautiful. If the talks are boring, you can go out for a walk. Yeah, it's a nice He's a good salesman. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so that works, and you can go to the French one, and you go to the beach, or you can go to the Nordic one, and there might be snow, and there's probably ice on the water, but th there's probably a sauna around and stuff like that. Or you can skate. Right? Or you can skate. 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 Not on probably on the open water, you drown, but that would be sad. Um, so we are also going to have a Postgres conference Europe. Um, many of you have been to them, I am sure. We will guarantee that we will hold this somewhere in Europe. Um, and we will actually go further than that and say continental Europe. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, we've told a couple of people that is continental Europe, so it's not going to be Britain and Ireland again. That's pretty much all we can tell you at this point. We are currently searching for venues and trying to, to sign contracts. We don't announce the location until we know for sure. We've made that mistake once. We're not going to do it again. Uh, but we're hoping to have an announcement of an actual location and an exact date in maybe a month or two. It's that sort of time frame. But our target is, again, the same time of the year that we typically do this, which is sort of second half of October, first half of November-ish. Uh, we don't know exactly when yet, because it depends on when we can find availability at a good venue. Uh, but it will be one of those, so stay tuned. You'll find the information. Subscribe to the PGEU general mailing list. You'll get the information there. Uh, we have a Twitter account. 
I think Dave set us up with some sort of Facebook page thingy. That's his thing. Okay. Uh, yeah, you did. That's what he does. But so follow us on those to find out where it is. It will be. It will follow the same uh, pattern that we've done before. We're looking for three days of conference, one day of training ahead of it, and as many of you as we can possibly fit. Uh, we're hoping to hit 7,000, or maybe 300. <laughs> one of those two. <laughs> uh, and that is actually all that I have. Oh. Um, did I forget something? Germany. I haven't been given any information about the German conference. You so haven't? There will be a German conference. Okay, there will be a German conference. It will most likely be in Germany. And an Italian one. And an Italian one? Okay, there will be an Italian conference. Anyone else with a conference? <laughs> oh yeah, hang on. There's a Prague Postgres Developer Day on Thursday. Good. Be there. And have a beer with me. And Slonic, maybe. If we can get him back there. Um, so that's all we're going to say. We have the desk. How many of you have not visited our desk yet? Okay, one or two of you. We're over in the AW building which is sort of way over on the other side. But uh, we'll be there all day tomorrow. So, uh, get yourself a t-shirt, get yourself a fleece, an elephant, a bug, a mug, uh -huh. a pen, a, a hat, a tattoo, a lots of things you can get there. Many of them free. Many of them free, yes. Um, are there any random questions that is somewhat related to Postgres or Postgres Europe or anything like that? In that case, I shall release you to go have beer. Yeah. Not you. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you all for showing up. Thank you. I need two people to help me with the video equipment, please. <laughs> First, you need to get ready. No, this space for tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> So we need to get. Oh, have you signed up for a Postgres Europe membership? I have not. You should. It's only ten euros for two years. By the desk tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna go.